We use Summit K-12, we just adopted it. We've had it for about four months using it actively. And these are some of the assessment tools that I have been using with my IEL students. And I'm just gonna basically go through them right now. This is the unit pretest, and it gives, um, you can print it out or it's online, so you don't have to have um, technology for this. It gives them all 10 multiple choice questions unless they're at a lower level, which it gives them a lower number of questions to uh, start out with. What's great about the pretest is they actually pay attention because they know that they're gonna see the exact same test at the end of the unit. So they really wanna understand what they're looking for when we are studying our units. Um, it shows it one at a time, one line, so that they're not confused of what number you're on, what letter you're on kind of thing. It shows them one question, four multiple choice answers. So it's really user friendly. And then it automatically grades it as soon as they're done for real time feedback. So once we, we take the test, we go back, we go through what we've missed, and then that's how I know as a teacher what I need to focus on teaching them and what they already know for the unit. Um, I usually begin every lesson with um, a concept connector, and this is at the beginning of every book that we have, and I print this out, and it's great. The um, students label the pictures that they know, and it allows me to see the vocabulary that they know and the vocabulary that they need to learn. And then this is the actual in the book and online that you can go to. Once they've labeled it, I have them come up here and label it, and then I can introduce them to the vocabulary that we're gonna be studying for this unit. It also comes with great um, questioning for your students to get them to start thinking about what we're gonna be studying. And the first two questions I focus on with my students, the first four questions. You can see that the first two questions really um, focus on the blue, green, orange, and purple levels. And as you get higher in the questioning, that the higher order thinking they get, and then the, the higher level of the books there are. So this is the concept connector where I begin the lesson. Each lesson also comes with vocabulary boosters, and we've talked about these. Um, it's great online, but you all, they also have actual cards where the children can hold, they can talk about, they can point to. But in this one, it has great drop-down boxes that they have to choose the correct answer before they can see the back of the card. Mm -hmm. And then on the back of the card, it gives us the vocabulary from the unit. It shows them how to use the word in the sentence. And then it gives them different practice, um, practicing that word in sentences. The next thing I use is the actual content text. It's at the end of every book. And I use blue um, with my students. And the content text is at the end of every book. And just once again, it's, it shows them one at a time. It allows the students to um, focus really on what they've learned. And then once again, it's immediate feedback. With my 11 IEL students, I started at the, on the blue level, which is about a second grade reading level. And they couldn't do it independently at all. Now that we've been using it for four months, all of my children except for three can do blue independently. And now we're doing green in small groups. So I can have them do the blue book independently while I'm pulling another group for, um, for the higher level. Um, next is the actual language skills content that's in each book. In this book, it was adjectives. So that's the language skill that they're focusing on in the book. So each one has vocabulary boosters, the language skill content, and then after the language skill, I mean, after you finish the language skill, it has, once again, real-time data. It's four questions, really simple, just to make sure that you know um, that your children know that skill for the book. 